Uh, my name is Roger. I am the marketing director for Crown Cruise Vacations, and we do have a very, very uh, fun, uh, very, very fun uh, evening ahead of us with our good friend Shannon Tiger from uh, Viking talking about all of the things that's going on. But we are going to ask that you make sure that you are muted. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to mute everybody right now. Okay. Um, and so again, we want to make sure that you stay muted throughout the portion, the, the entire portion of this. If you have any questions, please feel free to use the chat box to ask questions. I'll be looking at the questions periodically and we'll most likely be answering them at the end of the presentation. However, if something really particularly germane to the topic at hand comes up, I'll pop in and I'll ask Shannon as we go on. Uh, but in the meantime, we also are going to have some great special offers that are going to be available at the end of this presentation as well. So you want to make sure you stay till the end so you know all the best reasons on top of why what Viking is so wonderful, why you should book Viking right now, because there are some really good specials out there and we're going to share it with you. In the meantime, I'm going to turn this over to our good friend Shannon. Shannon, take it away and tell us all about the world of Viking. Hi, thank you, Roger. Thank you, everyone, for joining us here today. What an amazing turnout. So I want to personally thank Crown Cruises for organizing this on behalf of Viking. This is so terrific that we have the opportunity to speak to you all and get your wanderlust thriving again. I think we've all been home way too long, and I know you're all clapping alongside of me right now. I know I'm vaccinated. Likely you're vaccinated. It is time to get back out there and try travel this amazing world we live in. Which brings me to our subject matter here today. With Viking, we actually aren't just a river cruise line anymore. You probably likely have seen our commercials. You may have seen our sponsorship of uh, Masterpiece Theater on PBS. You may already know that Viking put river cruising on the map back in the late um, 1990s, early 2000s, we introduced river cruising to North America. We're really proud of that because it wasn't a way to travel uh, for Americans. And one of the things we wanted to do was make sure that everybody here on this side of the pond was aware of this awesome way to experience these amazing iconic cities and then these small poor towns. So we, we introduced Viking River Cruises. Then in 2015, we introduced Viking Ocean Cruises. And I have to say, we really reinvented the way that you experience destinations. And we did that on the rivers and we took that same philosophy and we put it to ocean cruising. And today we um, are Travel and Leisure's World's Best Ocean Cruise, which is quite an accolade to carry. And there's a reason why we do have that award because we offer a very different ocean cruising experience we just introduced our seventh ocean ship, the Viking Venus. So we're really excited to bring her to you. And many more ships are coming your way. So our goal is to give you more inventory because we tend to sell out very quickly. And so we are going to keep producing and building these beautiful ocean ships. They all look the same, folks. And same with river ships so that we can keep you all traveling. Now we have two new travel experiences coming in 2022. I hope you've already heard about them, but if you haven't, you're going to learn a little bit about them today. We're going to showcase all four of our products, our Viking Mississippi, which is going to be joining us in the late summer of 2022. Yay! We're going to be on the Mississippi River. We're going to be able to offer you that Viking travel experience on the Mississippi, and we're so excited about that. And then we're introducing our polar class ships, the Octantis and the Polaris in 2022, going to the Antarctic, to the Arctic, as well as to the Great Lakes. So we now have opportunities here at Viking to give you a closer to home experience as well. Now we of course go to Alaska with our ocean ships, so we've always had that. But now with the Mississippi and the Great Lakes, we have some really terrific things in store for you. So so really quickly, I always like to talk a little bit about what we're not here at Viking because it's so important for you. You are what? You have your bucket list destinations. You know you want to go to Greece. You know you want to go 
somewhere else in the med maybe you want to go to scandinavia and experience that part of the world maybe you want to do one of those really explorer type of vacations going on expedition cruises but the one thing that really is going to hold true through all of the viking experiences that we talk about today is that we're not everything to everyone and the thing that stands out the most to me and something i think is important for you to know is that we don't allow children on board you have to be over the age of 18 to travel with viking so that's number one number two who is traveling with viking mostly north americans so you'll be traveling with your fellow north americans and i have to tell you folks these these people that are traveling with us they are curious travelers they are experienced travelers. They are folks that are really interested in history, art, culture. They likely go to museums, maybe have memberships at their local theater. Um, you know, they are folks that really want that history, that cultural immersion. They want the enrichment on board. And that is a pillar of Vikings philosophy to make sure that these are all about the destination. So everything that you're experiencing on Viking is really going to bring that destination to life when you're on board and then also when you're on shore. And I have to tell you, when we travel on shore, we have curated such amazing onshore experiences for you. We include one included shore excursion for every port of call. And I, one of the things that's very important for us here at Viking, since we're so destination focused, is to make sure that you have more time in port and you're in as many ports as we can put you in. So you're going to likely, especially be on a river cruise in a port every day. On an ocean cruise, you'll probably have one sea day, maybe two, depending on the length of your cruise. But our goal is to make sure that you are in a port as much as possible and that we've included one shore excursion in your cruise fare. So you have a very inclusive cruise fare and a ton of optional shore excursions. We want to make sure we're hitting every passion point of yours. If you want to go into that museum, you will have the opportunity to do it. If you want to go to that special palace, you will have the opportunity to do it. If you want to explore the history of that region, you will have the opportunity to do it. We will hit every single passion point of yours and we all know that we travel for different reasons. So Think about the mindset of the folks that are on board Viking and put yourself on board the, ve the vessels with me, whatever it is, river or ocean, and let's go on a journey together and experience some of these really amazing destinations that we go to. And always remember that there will not be casinos, there will not be big Broadway shows, there will not be children on board. Clap, clap for those of you that want to travel without children. So you're not going to have water slides or a theme park type of vessel. That's not going to happen. All of the uh, attire is country club casual. Everything we do is small ship cruising. Our ocean ships are 930 passengers. Our new vessels introduced for the Mississippi and expedition are under 400 and our river ships are under 190. So you have a small ship cruising experience, which is very nice and intimate, no long lines, lots included in your fare, including wine and beer during lunch and dinner, plus soft drinks and a really nice, elegant, comfortable cruising experience. And this is really how we differentiate ourselves in the market. So if you're really looking for something very destination focused on a small ship, we're definitely the right fit for you. So let's take a little quick uh, uh, tour of the river world of Viking. Um, I love exploring the world by river. It's very unique. If you're an ocean cruiser and you've never done a river cruise, I would ex that this is something that you would highly enjoy. That same concept of only packing and unpacking once still exists, which to me is, I think, my favorite part about cruising in general. But then also the fact that you're always going to be surrounded by these beautiful, iconic um, destinations. They're going to be literally right there um, at your doorstep because our vessels, whether it's ocean or river, because of their size, and our prime docking locations give you the opportunity to dock right there in the heart of the destination. So you are going to be footsteps away. You're going to be able to walk and explore. And plus, you'll have these beautifully curated experiences with us.
that you will be able to uh, take part of. And they're really fascinating. Now, again, everything is going to be centered around the cultural immersion, the history of these destinations. And every destination truly has beautiful architecture, gorgeous cathedrals, amazing museums, wonderful gastronomy for my food lovers online here. And we will have these opportunities for you um, where you're really getting that local tour guide who is going to be taking you through these beautiful, small, authentic villages to these big iconic destinations, making sure you honestly don't miss a beat. There's going to be a new experience on River for you every day. The rivers are narrow and there's the most gorgeous scenery. It's like nothing you can ever imagine. Experiencing these destinations from the water really gives it a completely different perspective. And a lot of these smaller villages um, are very authentic. You don't have big motor coaches going in. They're not incredibly touristy. Um, so you have that mixture of both that larger city like in Amsterdam or Paris or a Budapest or a Prague, but then you also have these amazing, amazing cultural uh, experiences and uh, my favorite, the walking through these castles and these cathedrals and seeing the architecture is really priceless. Now I'd be remiss to not mention river cruising when we talk about river and the world of Viking River. All of the holiday destination cruising, right? So that a uh, holiday market comes to life after Thanksgiving. And these Christmas markets are absolutely stunning. Each of these towns sponsor their own market. So they actually do such a wonderful job trying to maybe perhaps outdo each other or just bringing that old world Christmas to life. And all of their centers, their squares are filled with these market stalls and glue vine, which is this malt wine. And it's just absolutely delicious. It's spiced and it's warm and you can get hats and scarves and gloves. And this runs all the way after our Thanksgiving holiday here in the States uh, over through uh, the Christmas holiday. Holiday. And I have to tell you, it's like nothing you'll ever experience. And of course, on board, we do fun things like gingerbread house making and Christmas tree decorating. And the mo most popular rivers, I'll be sure to let you know which ones uh, they are for this river cruise experience during Christmas markets. So if you don't mind putting a winter jacket on, this is the way to go. The most popular river for first time river cruisers or for river cruisers would be the Rhine River. Um, this itinerary that we offer is from Amsterdam to Basel, Switzerland. You're going through four different countries. You're going to see the windmills of the Netherlands. You're going to go to Cologne, which is Germany's fourth largest city. Koblenz, where they have the most beautiful Marksburg Castle, which is a medieval castle that you can walk through. You're going to go to Rudisch which has this beautiful pedestrian Drosselglasse, um, which is a wonderful street and uh, it's pedestrian only filled with little cafes and shops where you can go to beer gardens or have the regional wine. Spire, Germany, seeing the Spire Cathedral. Oh my goodness, absolutely stunning. Strasbourg, France. And then you head to Breistock, Germany. Breistock is really neat because that's the Black Forest. You'll actually go into the Black Forest, which we all heard of that Black Forest cake, which is delicious, uh, and the Cuckoo Clock. So you have a wonderful itinerary then landing you in Basel. Now you can take this either direction. This is the river of the castles and cathedrals. Very, very popular. Anyone at Crown Cruisers will give you a beautiful uh, introduction to which route, route to take. It really depends on where you want your pre or your post extension to be if you want to to be in Switzerland or if you want to spend some extra time in Amsterdam. But this is a great picture to what this river cruising experience looks like with the land on both sides, these towering um, hills and these castles and fortresses and cathedrals around every uh, twist and turn with legends that you learn about. Now, the other second most popular river is the Danube River. We have an opportunity for you to go from Budapest to Regensburg or from Regensburg to Budapest. 
attached. You can do extensions in Prague and Nuremberg, where the Nuremberg war crime trials were held, where the Zeppelin fields are, where Hitler did all of his first rallies, right? Absolutely amazing history here, folks. Lots of cities damaged by World War II, and then lots that weren't. So you're going to get a lot of medieval um, Roman ancient ruins. You're going to get Vienna on this itinerary. I have to tell you, one of the things that makes the Romantic Danube really special is that overnight in Vienna. You'll see a beautiful abbey, the Gottwig Abbey. You'll get to go to Regensburg and have the best sausage sandwich that you could ever imagine. And of course, you'll have the wonderful city of Budapest. So that's another really popular river. It's known as the, for the Vaca Valley. All of these uh, rivers offer sections of the river that are deemed UNESCO World Heritage Sites. But again, you see here, um, you'll be filled, you'll be seeing lots of vineyards known for the Gruner grape here. Uh, you'll be going through this beautiful 18 mile stretch of this absolutely most stunning scenic river cruising. And so that's really what makes the difference. You can combine these rivers. Um, if you have extra time, do a 15 day Grand European tour that takes you on the Rhine and the Danube River, highly recommend this for you because I honestly can tell you, I never want to get off the river. Now, if you've always wanted to go to Paris, we offer Paris in the heart of Normandy where you go round trip Paris but you also get to go to Omaha Beach, Gold Beach, Juno Beach. You get to experience all of the histories, uh, history of D-Day and commemorate our war heroes. You get to go to uh, Giverny and experience Claude Monet and all of the beautiful back uh, landscapes of uh, where he spent most of his life. So all those wonderful Monet, uh, beautiful paintings that we love. You'll actually be there looking at the beautiful Japanese gardens. We also go to Les Andalus and La Peck, and so you have a beautiful itinerary here. You can walk in the footsteps of the Joan of Arc in Rouen. This is a great picture of um, the French rivers here. You'll see lots of, again, uh, ruins, but also chalets and chateaus. And again, that narrow river on our narrow longship taking you very calm and beautiful. Lyon and Provence giving you lavender fields and truffles and uh, more ancient ruins. This is the south of France. You can actually combine Paris in the heart of Normandy and Lyon and Provence if you like. And you have the opportunity to do Paris, the Seine River, and then the Rhone River in the south of France, and maybe do an extension in the south of France. Perhaps maybe Lake Como, you can go hang out with George Clooney if you'd like. So we also have Portugal's River of Gold, the Douro River, plus every other river, the Mekong, the Nile. We have something for everybody. I love Portugal's River of Gold because you get the uh, cruise tour, which means you have two nights in Lisbon on the ground, then heading up to Porto, doing round trip Porto. You'll learn everything you want to know about Porto. Uh, port wine. This is a picture of what the Douro River looks like. Again, I just really want you to feel that scenic river cruising. So I've teased you with some great itineraries. We're going to take a quick peek at the longships and then we're going on a journey on Vikings ocean vessels. This is the longship. Under 200 passengers, folks. An absolutely intimate experience. The crew will know everything about you. It feels like you're coming home to your own living room, but our signature staple here at Viking in terms of our design and style would be the Scandinavian style. And I have to tell you, I don't care if it's the ocean ship or if it's a river ship. It is absolutely stunning to have the night slight timbers, the bright walls. We do not have the dark woods. We do not have the crystal chandeliers. We do not have the frou-frou. We don't even have butlers, but I can promise you, you will get butler service throughout any of your Viking experiences. We feel all people are created equal, so you should all have that service. That is what we're known for. You'll see these beautiful floor-to-ceiling windows in every aspect of the ship, the restaurant where you're dining, also um, the Viking lounge and the Viking bar for those after and before drinks. And trust me, if you love your gins and vodkas, our Silver Spirits package is so inexpensive. You can get it for an eight day cruise for $150 for the whole time and you can drink all day long if you want. We have here in our lounge also our piano player. This is where we do some light dancing, trivia, language lessons, cooking demonstrations, all of your enrichments, port talks happen here. 
here. Uh, we have our Aquavit Terrace on every one of our vessels. This is our signature um, for uh, Viking to have al fresco dining. So if you love that fresh air dining, we are the cruise line for you for sure. And then we have our uh, sun deck where all your scenic river cruising will take place. Now, anyone at Crown Cruises will be able to help you with what is the best stateroom for you. So I'm going to let them take you uh, and guide you through your category of stateroom. So let's get moving here and talk, since we're doing the world of Viking, about our ocean. We have some really new cool stuff happening here with Viking Ocean Cruises and our welcome back to the world ports. We actually are introducing new itineraries just for this summer. So we're on a Viking River, you'll be able to do a lot of those itineraries that we spoke of coming this July on Viking Ocean, we actually have a new home port for a few of our vessels where we're going to be able to take you to some awesome bucket list destinations that I know are on your list. So again, small ship cruising under a thousand passengers for ocean. All of the ships look the same. So you never have to worry about that. You can go anywhere in the world and you're going to feel like you're on the same vessel. And I wanted to just introduce to you our new latest itineraries. For those of you that are vaccinated and you want to get out and start traveling, we have Iceland's Natural Beauty where you're going round trip Reykjavik. You'll be actually circling the entire island of Iceland. It is an awesome experience ending back in Reykjavik. I have to tell you, this is probably one of our hottest sellers right now. So if Iceland's on your bucket list and you want to go this summer, you need to definitely be on the phone talking about that ASAP. We also have Bermuda Escape, which is round trip Hamilton, a wonderful journey for you. If you want the Caribbean, you want the pink sand beaches, this is great for you. We spend an overnight in Hamilton. We have King's Wharf. We're going to bring you back to Hamilton. And of course, we'll make sure you see St. George's. You have a great sea day here. And I have to tell you, the on shore, the onboard experience is absolutely lovely on Viking. Now, here's the real new stuff, folks. So you listening in, you're going to learn something new um, today, I promise. We are going to be going out of Malta. So many folks say, where's Malta? Um, so I'm going to actually show you where Malta is on on a map. We have three different really incredible itineraries. Again, telling you, these are all your bucket list destinations. The first itinerary is going to go from Valletta Malta, which is an amazing port in itself. And then we're going to take you over to Montenegro. We're going to Dubrovnik. We're going to split Croatia. We're going to Zadar, Šibenik. We're going to have a day at sea. We're going back to Gozo Malta and then back to Valletta Malta. I want to show you where Malta is positioned right here at the bottom here in the center of this map. Look how phenomenal that river cruising experience is going up here uh, into the Adriatic Sea. Now, if you always wanted to go to Greece, we have the Greek Isles Discovery out of Malta. Going to Kalamata, Greece, Athens, where you're going to be spending a night in Athens. Santorini of the, the picture postcard, Greek Isles, the whitewash buildings with the blue roofs. Rhodes, Crete, and you'll have a sea day here. Let me show you on a map how strategically located Malta is to the Greek Isles. Is that not phenomenal? And I tell you, you're going to love Malta. We also have Malta and the Western Med. These are all happening this summer. So if you want to get out, this is what you should be doing. Um, we have uh, Sicily, Naples, Rome, Florence, Genoa, Barcelona, all coming out of Malta. Look at how well positioned Malta is to take you around that Italian boot that we know so well on our world map uh, to Barcelona and back to Valletta. Phenomenal itineraries, of course, we always have our Scandinavia and Northern Europe for you. Um, once we're going to be introducing those back, uh, we're really excited about 2021 and 2022 and 2023. You can book up to 2023 with any of your Crown Cruise advisors. So don't delay because there is a shortage of inventory, um, especially here with Ocean. So I really want you to start thinking about what you want to be doing. These are the beautiful, luxurious 
luxurious Viking ocean ships. Incredibly uh, well done in that Scandinavian style. Again, no crystal chandeliers. Our living room with the beautiful intimate uh, sitting areas, the explorer's lounge. Again, notice that one thing in common, those floor to ceiling windows, the lovely winter garden where you can have high tea, the retractable roofs, swimming pool, um, the spa, the Nordic spa, absolutely phenomenal, uh, and the snow grotto. So that is a little glimpse of Viking Ocean. We are now moving to the Mississippi. So for my friends that are online with us today and you've been thinking about the Mississippi and you heard Viking was gonna be on it, you are gonna learn a little bit about what we're doing. So let me introduce to you the Viking Mississippi. So the Mississippi River, a lot of folks think that it is the longest river. It's not. That's the quiz question. You can all be thinking about what is the longest river in the U.S. It's actually the Missouri River. I think just by a couple hundred miles, it is longer than the Mississippi River. That's over 2,300 miles going through 10 different states. We are going to visit 15 different ports of call. We have eight day voyages and we have 15 day voyages. You will see so many different terrains on the Mississippi River. It's like a serpentine river. It twists and turns. You have farms to beautiful nature. So if you're a bird watcher, this is wonderful um, experience for you. And how we're going to do it is you can do the entire river if you want on America's Great River, which is our 15 day journey. We only have a handful of those. So you want to make sure that you get on them. We are selling the Mississippi all the way through 2024 because we're almost sold out of 2022. So know that that is really important. Only only one ship, so you want to make sure you put your name in the hat if that's something you want to do. Now we have the Lower Mississippi where we're doing a round trip New Orleans eight day. We have a uh, Lower Mississippi where we're doing uh, New Orleans to uh, Memphis or Memphis to New Orleans. And then we have an eight day Mississippi experience on the Upper Mississippi, which of course we're not doing in the winter months. We do that in the summer months. And that's going from St. Paul to St. Louis. Now there is so much history here. I don't even know where to begin from the steamboat era to the farming to um, John Deere to all of that happening on the upper Mississippi to the beautiful uh, bluffs absolutely stunning river cruising to the lower Mississippi with the Cajun uh, influence and the Creole and the uh, wonderful greats that were born out of there, the Memphis blues, Elvis Presley, gospel music, Cajun fun loving people. So much to experience here on the Mississippi. I have to tell you, you um, will, will not be disappointed uh, to learn about America's history, to learn about the influence of the steamboat era, to learn about the Battle of Vicksburg in Vicksburg, where you'll actually be on the battleground, um, to see all of those beautiful uh, Victorian homes. And of course, we will stand true to our Viking promise, which is you're going to have amazing included shore excursions for every port and by a local tour guide. So you're getting their own personal stories, plus not missing a beat with history and iconic sights to see, uh, and it is going to be um, the, the just a wonderful way to experience it. But I have to tell you, the biggest difference, I would say, um, would be how we do and curate our shore excursions, but moreover, the fact that this is going to be modern ship river cruising, so no paddle wheeler, and you're about to see some renderings of this beautiful five deck uh, vessel. Again, in that gorgeous Scandinavian design, the light timbers right there is uh, an excerpt from um, uh, Huckle Huckleberry Finn because we do go to Hannibal. Um, and in Hannibal is where Mark Twain was born. So we celebrate Mark Twain on board with this five deck uh, uh, beautiful excerpt from the um, story of Huck Finn. So you'll actually walk in the footsteps of Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn uh, on the upper Mississippi itinerary. But you see what I, I am uh, describing when I talk about how bright our vessels are and about bringing the outdoors in and the destination always being the focal point. Uh, this is what the restaurant would look like. This is what the public space looks like, the living room. Again, that intimate 
sitting where you feel like you're coming home to your own living room. We want that comfort. Our tagline is traveling the world in comfort. Country club casual. We are really into that feeling, but with the most exceptional service here at Viking, and that is our difference. So you also have on the Mississippi um, the River Cafe as alternative dining if you don't want to eat in the main dining room. And the wow factor is the infinity plunge pool. How fun is that? No paddle wheeler, as I mentioned. You can hang out in this beautiful infinity plunge pool while you're uh, cruising down the Mississippi River on this beautiful vessel. We have the Explorer's Lounge here as well. So a great combination of river and ocean is what you'll have on the Viking Mississippi. This is the bow, another great area for you to hang out and take in the Mississippi River. And the staterooms are absolutely superb, very reflective of our ocean staterooms, very nautical. Uh, so again, your Crown Cruise uh, travel advisors can help you uh, decide which category is best for you because we have some amazing ones here. And we do have a lot of ADA accessible staterooms for you. So while on ocean, uh, river cruising in Europe, it's a little bit more challenging. The destinations themselves are here on the Mississippi River, we do have those ADA accessibles. Even our Explorer seat, we have a, an ADA accessible stateroom. So that was the Viking Mississippi. And last but not least, all of my uh, favorite people here joining us that are so loyal to one of my favorite uh, travel agencies, Crown Cruises, we are going to show you Viking Expeditions. And if you recall, in the presentation in the beginning, I mentioned that we're going to Antarctic as well as the Arctic, as well as the Great Lakes. So this ship, now that you've seen everything else, is going to seem very different to you. Why? Because she is absolutely sleek and sexy and beautiful. We have the Octantis joining us first and then the Polaris. We're doing the Antarctic first, then we're going to the Great Lakes, and then we have the Arctic. So that's basically how 2022 is going to lay out. She is obviously being built absolutely lovely. Um, and she is really just, I just can't even imagine her in the polar regions, but I really can't imagine her in the Great Lakes. So this is a, quite an example of what she'll look like when she's touring the beautiful regions of Antarctica. Now I have to tell you, one of the things that fascinates me is for Viking, it's always about the guest experience. And I really want you to know that is our number one priority is what you're seeing, how you're seeing it, are you tasting it? Are you touching it? Um, so we have always regional cuisine that we're bringing signature dishes on board. We're bringing regional wines. We're bringing, uh, you know, just that amazing experience on board. And the enrichment is off the charts because we want you to really learn this destination inside and out. But really what makes uh, the expedition is uh, very unique. And it's something that was told to me when we were learning about the product from our operations team. They said someone could have an amazing polar experience, expedition experience in Antarctica um, by even just staying on the ship and never leaving the ship. And I'm like, how is that possible? Because it's all about the landings and the zodiacs and the ribs. And I quickly learned out why and how. Now, of course, we don't recommend that you do that, but you could if you want to. The ship itself is amazing. Um, and what we have done is we've created technology to put all of our guests in certain groups. So really depending on what you want your activity level to look like, um, you'll have a questionnaire you fill out, you'll have all of the things that you want to see and do, and then your kind of group. So if you never want to kayak, we're going to make sure you're not with a bunch of people who want to kayak. We want to make sure that you're with like-minded travelers because that's really how I think that's partially part of our success story. But we also want to make sure you have flexibility if you want it, but you're really getting the most out of your expedition. So again, not everything to everyone, highly inclusive product here, but I think really what sets us apart is all of our exclusive scientific partnerships. We will have a uh, partnership with Scott Polar Research Institute, the Cornell Lab. Uh, we'll also have a University of Cambridge and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And all of these partnerships will allow you to have 
the opportunity to be a part of the research. We actually, because our ship is under 400 passengers and a larger ship for that region, we have the ability to have some really cool fancy staff, one of them being a lab. So you can have the opportunity to take your stab at doing some of these uh, research with our scientists on board. One of them is actually smushing penguin feces, believe it or not. Um, I know that sounds kind of yucky, but the reality is, is there's a whole reason and a purpose for all of this. So you can be a part of the science behind all of this as well, not only just in, in a, you know, enamored by the penguins and the polar bears. Now, in this area where the lab is, we have something else that's a big wow factor of our expedition cruising. And picture yourself, if you want, to be in the Great Lakes, kind of going through the same thing, but in just a different region of our world. Now, here is the Aula. The Aula, this is where you'll be uh, in the theater, uh, theater style room. Um, the, uh, you're gonna be learning about your HD presentations, about your landings, what's happening next. Some really great enrichment will happen here. But that screen that you're looking at actually moves up to the ceiling and then all of the shades lift. And now you're in this most beautiful observation room um, where you have the most gorgeous scenery, panoramic of the destination that you're in. So again, driving home that that, you know, real true value of Viking where you uh, just have that destination when you're on board always as the focal point. We have fire pits here. We have an explorer's lounge here as well on expedition. Again, so many beautiful floor to ceiling windows, a beautiful retractable roof swimming pool that you can swim under that leads to three different pools outside and a spa. But here is the wow factor. For any of you that are considering expedition but thought, well, I don't know how I'm gonna get on and off those ribs or those uh, zodiacs, well, let me show you. You can do it by these phenomenal, um, this the hanger. So you'll see the submersibles in the back. We have two submersibles. They're painted yellow because our chairman loves the Beatles. But this is actually where you'll be boarding uh, with your own specific time, the zodiacs and the ribs. They come up into to the ship boarding like as if you were boarding a roller coaster ride and they roll down the ship this is the wow factor the real true viking difference on these beautiful vessels so you don't have to worry about weather and movement as you're trying to get into these vessels because you're going to board them just like we saw this is state-of-the-art technology also stabilizers going through the drake passage all of that so easy you'll be seeing beautiful scenery this is some pictures from the antarctic um, where you can kayak among the glaciers you do shore landings you um uh have beautiful experience it goes buenos aires ushaya uh to uh ushaya through the drake passage you'll have four uh to day 10 exploring antarctica and it is absolutely uh quite an amazing experience we have our trumso round trip arctic adventure uh where you'll be able to do your scenic cruising if you'd like to go um to the arctic and then the great lakes our most popular Great Lake itinerary is Niagara and the Great Lakes that takes you from Toronto to Milwaukee. And you're going from Lake Ontario to Lake Erie to Point Pelee to Detroit, out to Alpena, Mackinac Island, Traverse City, and to Milwaukee. A real popular Great Lakes itinerary on board that gorgeous vessel we were just looking at. We also have Milwaukee to Thunder Bay that actually takes you, um, this is called the Great Lakes Explorer, and you spend a lot of time in Georgian Bay on this itinerary. So all of the itineraries are very different. You're going to want to definitely um, tap into your experts there at Crown Cruises uh, and see which one suits you best. Uh, and then we have Thunder Bay to Milwaukee, which is the undiscovered Great Lakes. Uh, so this is another uh, popular one as well. Here's some pictures of folks kayaking in Georgian Bay. We have hiking experiences. Um, there's so much to see and do, but I will tell you the one thing that any of these expedition cruises will do for you is really touch your soul, bring you back uh, to nature. Uh, 
and uh, really kind of get you out of concrete and out of everyday life and really show you um, the beauty of the world we live in. This is the uh, sea caves at the Apostle Islands in Wisconsin. Who knew that these, these uh, beautiful caves exist? Uh, and then Point Pile, if you love nature and you love bird watching, uh, this is, uh, there's, an, uh, they don't know how many spaces come through Point Pile. It is uh, an absolute amazing, beautiful, scenic little island. Uh, so that's also something that you could experience. So we have ended our world tour of Viking. I hope I've given you some things to think about, folks. And I hope I've uh, created your wanderlust. If I've sparked it up, that's really all that I know any of us are trying to do here uh, is get you thinking about traveling again and sooner than later. As I had mentioned, as uh, Roger had mentioned earlier, it is so important uh, uh, to put your name in the hat, especially for Viking, because we are selling out. And so all of these journeys will not be available. Now, if you book by June 30th, you will be automatically put um, into our risk-free guarantee program. We introduced this uh, over the last year, and it really is to create a worry-free mindset for you. We don't want you worried. We want you to feel confident and excited about your travel planning. That's all our goal is. So all you have to do um, is deposit a stateroom in the month of June. Automatically, this will be added to your booking, and you can cancel for any reason up to 14 days prior and change your cruise date. So you have to change your date, um, and uh, it could be within 24 months, and uh, you uh, have all the monies that you paid for Viking issued into a future cruise voucher for your next cruise date. So this is an amazing opportunity for you to really travel worry-free and take all of the um, uncertainties out of your mind. And then last but not least, I want to tell you that we also have, if you book by July 1st, so that's another reason for you to book, a $100 shipboard credit per person that get, will be put on your stateroom for any river or ocean. It does exclude Mississippi or Expedition, but I do know that Crown Cruises has some extra stuff for you, some exclusive savings. So I'm gonna pass it over to Roger for any questions. And also I, um, I'm i sure that you'd like to, to talk a little bit about some of those savings, but for, folks, I just wanna thank you for your time tonight. I hope you got excited about the world of Viking and we sure hope to see you on board. Thank you very much, Shannon. Yeah, I just want to go over real quick again this offer. $100 shipboard credit per person coming from Viking uh, if you make the reservation by July 1st. In addition to that, we have exclusive sailing savings on pretty much every Viking sailing there is. Now, the shipboard credit applies to river and ocean only. And when we talk about river, we're not talking about the Mississippi, but any other river in the world that they sail, you get that shipboard credit. Okay. Um, and then of course the exclusive savings of up to $400 per reservation um, that we're able to offer you uh, additional savings, which is pretty great. Now we have a few questions first and foremost about expedition. Um, some people were wondering about Antarctica and how people get off the ship. And of course you showed, uh, you showed that lovely um, garage. Yeah. <laughs> the hangar. The hangar, I'm sorry. It's sorry. Funny. It makes me think, the hangar makes me think of airplanes, but hey, right. um, it's the hangar where the lab is. And yes, sure. that is going to be yeah. um, state of the art technology. And, on and, getting that's how you, and that's how you get off the ship in Antarctica, right? So, in other words, the ship doesn't actually dock anywhere in Antarctica. Every time you're going to land, you're going exactly. to land on these rib, like these rib, which are these kind of really large inflatables, and the zodiacs, which are like not quite so large inflatables, that are bringing you to land. And that's how you get to land uh, in Antarctica on a Viking yeah. cruise, correct? Exactly. exactly, and it really is the differentiator for us, um, how seamless that is and how, uh, you know, it, it's it's just, such a very easy process. Like I like to think of it as a roller coaster ride and you're boarding your own roller coaster cart. I mean, um, listen, I've gotten on I've gotten on plenty of tenders where I've felt scared and that was going on getting off of a off of a, a big ship onto a big boat. 
and like I've got nervous. So the idea of being able to board one of these things, I wish they would do this with every tender. It would be so much easier, right? <laughs> exactly. Every ship should be equipped with its own hanger. <laughs> okay, what else do you have for me? So, Hopefully um, I can hear it. So a couple questions about uh, how return to service. Okay. Um, are all staff and guests going to be required to be vaccinated on these return to service cruises? Um, so here's how it's working. So uh, up until September 30th of 2021, we are requiring for our guests to be vaccinated. Our crew in some ports will be fully vaccinated. We are still working on getting all of our crew vaccinated. That is a feat in itself because everybody's coming from different countries. Sure. But yes, we do have in some home ports, our crew will be fully vaccinated. But I do want to assure everybody something that I didn't touch on in this presentation purposely. So I thank the person who asked that question. Um, we here at Viking have something very unique on our ocean ships. We actually have labs. We have put labs on all of our ocean ships where we can do daily or regular testing. And so as you all know, vaccinated or not, you still need your PCR test, you still need this, you need all these things. Well, Viking, um, really your safety is the most important thing for us. And we all know nothing is 100% with this vaccination. So Viking has taken a stance with ocean and river to do regular testing on board. So it is PCR testing saliva based, it is non-invasive and our crew will collect the samples that you will do in your stateroom. I have somebody right now, a colleague of mine that's in Bermuda, our first Bermuda sailing um, has uh, has uh, embarked uh, this week. And it, he said it is so amazing the protocols that we've put in place. But the fact that on Viking, you will have that regular testing really sets us apart. It's not just before you get on board. It is also while you're on board. The regular <laughs> testing for your safety. For and it's not going to be like the brain scrub test. So you'll be comfortable doing it. <laughs> it right? is saliva based. Yes. Which is, which is great. Um, so, great. Okay. so in Greece in particular, are there any restrictions in terms of getting off the ship? Do you have to take a Viking excursion to get off the ship or are you free to wander around on your own? Okay, so let's just do this. Let's answer that question across all of the itineraries because it is a question that comes up very often. So everything is going to be based on that country and that city's protocol and our discretion on um, what we feel. So there are many, many itineraries that right now, um, I think almost all of them are requiring uh, for our guests to take our shore excursions, but it changes daily. I believe where it just changed was in Bermuda. So it is there is hope for free exploration it really is just kind of as we we uh you know wind our way out of um you know the the pandemic and really based on the country's and the city's discretion but i'll tell you we have re we have a plan a a plan b and a plan c and we have really uh made sure we curate our onshore experiences so that you really don't miss anything nope. and i gotta be honest and roger you probably could agree most of the people that travel on viking really really want to go with us on our shore excursions True. because of how we do them. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and you guys include excursions in every port, right? So we do. we do include excursions in every port. So you'd be crazy not to take advantage of that. We all know how expensive those are. Um, and they could be anything from touring an abbey to a panoramic city tour. A lot of the larger cities, we do the city tour because we want you to see everything. Mm -hmm. And then you'd have the afternoon to do another optional tour with us. Or you can, if you can, and, the, and that country and city allows you, you can explore on your own. Explore on your own. <laughs> Um, Something for everyone. Payment in advance. So I know one of the things that people have a little bit of an issue with with Viking River is it seems like you're paying like the day after you book for a cruise yeah. in like two years, yeah. right? So yeah. with Viking Ocean, when is the final payment due? Yeah, so um, for River or Ocean or any of our products, uh, I have to tell you our, our experiences. Um, with Viking, we, we do ask, we're very unique in that matter of asking for our payment further in advance. And the reason 
truly is because we have so much demand for our product and I hope that doesn't come across the wrong way because the reality is is that um, we have someone knocking on our door all the time for our sold out sailings and ships and stuff so we really really want your commitment to know that you're going to go um, our cancellation program is wonderful it's a hundred dollars per person up until 121 days out uh, plus non-refundable insurance if you take it through us so you still have the opportunity um, to cancel but we really hope that you don't cancel uh, you know 121 days out for that nominal fee um, we really just want your commitment because the reality is is as everybody there knows at Crown Cruises it's just a brand that has a wonderful following and if anything I hope that shows you that we're going to guarantee that you have we actually have a service guarantee as well that you have a wonderful experience that's that's um, really really good to know and yeah that's a it's a really important point too so I know that you guys do tend to require full payment earlier than pretty much everybody else but at the same time you guys have a very generous cancellation policy and that you're essentially just paying an administrative fee to cancel even after you've made final payment even if you booked until like if you've booked up until about four months before travel so and, and then again if you book before the end of this month you have that risk-free guarantee on top of it and I have to tell you, we were the first to cease operations uh, during the beginning of the pandemic. And the one thing that has been tried and true with uh, Viking from the very beginning is we have been amazing with our refunds. Um, and we have offered a very generous uh, refund option for folks. Uh, and so that is something, again, that stands true to our brand is your experience and you are at the for you know at their, you're our primary concern and our crew of course being healthy and safe but uh but yeah so that is a value that you get with us uh and and really truly though it's it's we we really want your commitment to sailing with us because of the fact that our demand is is incredibly high so let me ask you this sure. all of these itineraries that you talked about all of these ports of call that you talked about out of all of these what's the port you haven't gone to yet that you really want to go to me personally. I've got one. I've got one myself, but what's yours? Oh, wow. I mean, that is a loaded question because I think my bucket list doing this for a living is uh, quite extensive. Um, I would say for me, uh, quite honestly, I haven't been to Scandinavia yet. And I have presented so much on Scandinavia. I actually think I've, I've convinced myself that I've been there. Um, but I would love our Scandinavian Viking homelands experience is so cool because you actually get the fjords and then you get the entire Baltic. It's 15 days, so it's quite it's it's a little bit longer. But you, you to get the actual North Sea and the fjords, so you get Bergen, you get to go through uh, the fjords all of Norway and then get the Copenhagen, Hagen's, the Stockholm's and overnight in St. Petersburg. I would say every single port on that itinerary from Estonia to uh, I've never been to Berlin. That is another port. So I think I, I, I'm going to not answer port. I'm going to answer itinerary <laughs> and sure. they're hard to find i actually have kids shocking um three of them and so i've been trying desperately to find uh something that would match that because i love i love the ports we go to so viking homelands is the name of it but that's that's something that's definitely on my bucket list what about you roger you so for me honestly i love this iceland itinerary you guys are doing this summer and i love personally i love iceland i've been like four or five times but the place I want to go to in Iceland that I haven't been yet that you guys are stopping at is Isa Fjordur in oh, the very yes. northwestern corner. Um, yes. I, I've been on tours. I have friends. I have a friend who moved up to Isa Fjordur and was actually an adventure guide and a glacier guide up there. And just the pictures he'd send and the just the, the pure nature and, and, and gorgeousness of it makes me really want to visit there. Um, so we have a couple more questions here before we wrap up. So sure. if you use the risk-free program to cancel, is there a cancellation fee? So if you use the risk-free, so you have an option to go with standard cancellation, or if you're already in penalty, then don't lose any money, right? So our penalties start after 121 days, then you would choose the risk-free, um, however far out you are, so within the 121 days, uh, and you get a future cruise voucher for all of the money that you've paid to Viking, which is full payment, uh, and then you'll have the opportunity to uh, you, you use that future cruise voucher to change your date. So that's basically how it works. Uh, so did I answer that question? 
Uh, yeah. So basically, um, you you have standard cancellation opportunity, or you could choose the risk free. I have to tell it you, gives you back the cruise credit, right? It gives you back that, and uh, we roll the insurance up into it as well. Which that's is great. Nice. Insurance is always non refundable. Yeah, that's great. So somebody asked if there's any advice that you give about travel insurance outside of what you offer, and that's where you, a Crown Cruise Vacations Advisor comes in. We do actually offer a variety of different insurance products for you, including one that we actually work with that's specifically designed for cruise guests. And uh, your advisor can help you uh, determine if that's the right policy for you. And yeah. uh, if not, there are other places we can help you uh, find that. Um, somebody else asked if you guys are going to expand to Cuba, and I know that that's probably something you guys are very interested in doing, but you kind of have to be allowed to go to Cuba, which we're not. So, yeah. and we were, we were. So, we were. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so you know, when opportunity knocks, I will tell you back to your Iceland. That is the number one question I get: is Are we going to offer that Iceland around the island itinerary in 2022 outside of this welcome back program? And we haven't heard yet. But I know that we've really established phenomenal relationships with Iceland as a country as a whole, and I hope we do because you're right. Being able to do the entire island is quite a treat and very unusual. Um, so that I hope to see. I hope to see. Our our home port of uh, Valletta, Malta continue, um, but you never know. And so that's why I say, if you're ready to go do it. Oh, and did I mention that we have chartered air out of Newark, New Jersey on Lufthansa. Um, space will sell out on that. So that's another reason for you to get in early on the Malta where you're going nonstop mm -hmm. Newark uh, to uh, to Malta. Well, it's so nonstop stop really from Newark to Malta. Yes. What? It's amazing. I know. And figure everybody on there is vaccinated. Yeah. I don't know about the crew. Great. It's great. But... It's great. Yeah, you're still so gonna wear the for, mask on the plane, but at least you're not gonna have to worry about it, right? I know I'm in New Jersey, and so I know that there's folks that likely are online or in this area. So um, yeah, so take advantage of that too. Yeah, um, and then so somebody else, one, one last question here. Somebody asked about solo travelers and what kind of pricing we have here. So what kind of supplement could a single traveler look for on a biking sale? So my best, so I have a wonderful relationship with everybody at Crown Cruises. They are my top agency. So you're working with a terrific tra travel agency. Um, so the best way to do it is for your advisor to call me and I'll give them special sailings that we have the single supplements on because we don't have them on everyone. Um, so you really have to be flexible uh, and uh, wait for that special one to come up where it's 150% of the fare or um, sometimes you can see a 125 uh you know it really kind of depends uh really uh kind of where we're at uh with inventory and there's lots of different reasons why so so essentially most of the time you're paying for both beds but sometimes you right. might only pay for a quarter of that second bed or half of that second bed which is a right. good deal because every cruise line makes you pay for both beds in that room so yes yeah exactly so you want to see if there is a sailing if not find a friend you know 47 percent <laughs> 47% of travelers uh, on Viking, not saying travel with their friend in their stateroom, but <laughs> travel with friends or family. So yeah, yeah. always ask your friends to come with you because you'll be surprised how many people know the Viking name or know somebody that traveled on us and they're like, oh, Viking, yes, I want to come. And it's always friend, fun to uh, travel with friends and family. Oh, that's great. That's great. Well, Shannon, thank you so much. This has been a really wonderful, informative hour. And yes. uh, again, if you guys don't don't rem uh, don't remember yet, uh, it's an extra hundred dollar shipboard credit per person when you book a river or an ocean cruise with Viking between now and July first. Doesn't apply to the Mississippi River. Doesn't apply to the expedition cruises, but the regular ocean ships and the river ships in Europe, Asia, Egypt, you know, pretty much everywhere, but the Mississippi, um, those are going to be there. Plus we have exclusive savings up to $400 per stateroom. When you work with Crown Cruise Vacations, you can give us a call tomorrow when we open at 9 a.m. Eastern, 877-283-1114. Shannon, thanks. It's been an absolute pleasure. It has been so fun talking about the world of Viking, and I hope uh, I hope to see some of your folks on board. I can't wait to hear who's traveling with us, and thank you, Crown Cruises, for allowing us to be such a great partner of yours and for me being here tonight. And good night, everyone. I hope you enjoy a nice cup of coffee or a glass of wine and start getting the wheels turning about where you want to go in the world next.
great. Don't Thank you. Oh, wait. Okay. Take care, uh, everyone. Bye now.